10 Most Expensive Dog Breeds There are always several factors to consider when you decide what type of breed you'd like if you're about to adopt one. One of the most important factors of all, of course, is money. It's always the most important question. How much would you be willing to pay for your pup? Welcome to another list of dog lore. Today, we're taking a look at the top 10 most expensive dog breeds there are in the world. We created this list even though here at Dog Law we are pro-rescue a dog option and we always recommend that you consider the alternative of rescuing a dog at your local shelter. In a rescued dog you'll find the same love you can find in a dog breed to be sold. Nevertheless, there's nothing wrong with wanting a dog from a specific breed. Maybe you've spent a great part of your life wanting a specific rare breed of dog and that's perfectly fine. In the list we have for you today, we're considering factors such as bloodline, rarity and of course the breed of the dog. Before we start with our list, could you tell us why the first dog on our list is the most expensive? Could it be because of its rarity? Maybe it's not expensive to adopt it, but raising it and keeping it healthy is a more important factor. Tell us in the comments and remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Number 10. Doggo Argentino the first thing people tend to think when they hear the price of a Doggo Argentino is that they cost what they weigh, and no wonder. The muscular guard dog originally from Argentina, obviously, can weigh 100 pounds and reach 26 inches from paw to shoulder. The Doggo Argentino is often bred for the big game hunting of wild boars and to hunt wild dogs in Asia and South America, and is even capable of taking down mountain lions. Most people attribute the cost of the Doggo Argentino to their coat. As a descendant of the Cordoba dog and a mix of other breeds, such as the Great Dane, the Doggo Argentino has a white short coat with black spots on its skin, but with rarely any markings on its coat. In fact, a spot or any type of marking in the dog's coat is often considered a flaw, lowering its price. However, the Argentine Doggo can have a black or brindle spot on its head, specifically around its eye. This is called a pirata, for the illusion of the dog wearing an eye patch. Did you like the Doggo Argentino? Well, you can go ahead and reach for your pocket. Price ranges for these beautiful Argentinian white doggos go from a little over $3,900 to $8,000. Number 9. Akita a breed of medium-sized dog originating from the mountains of northern Japan. Akitas are famously known for having one of their own portrayed in a movie in 2009, A Dog's Tale. A story about Hachiko, a dog who waited for his owner in a train station for over nine years after the owner's death. There are two varieties of Akita, the Japanese Akita Inu, only available in a small palette of colors, with all other colors considered atypical of the breed, and the American Akitas. This divergence began during World War II, when the American soldiers were stunned by the loyalty and loving affection of the Akitas that they decided to take a small group back with them to America. After the movie, Akitas became widely known for their loyalty, affection and eagerness to please their owners. However, it's also considered among one of the breeds that can cause the most harm because of their strong jaws. This breed's important features include their short, double and thick coat capable of resisting low temperatures, and you can adopt both Japanese and American Akitas for a price between $35 and $4,500. Number 8. Pharaoh Hound You can imagine that a breed of dog with the word pharaoh in its name and a vast similarity shared with the dogs drawn in the walls of the pyramids of Egypt is going to end up being quite expensive. Considered one of the oldest breeds in the world and originally bred as hunting dogs for their speed and slender athletic figure, Pharaoh hounds tend to weigh from 45 to 55 pounds. The breed has an average life expectancy of 11 to 14 years, but is extremely sensitive to stress. Stress can lead to severe digestive and neurotic issues, which can cost more than $1,500 to treat. At the same time, this stress is not conditioned to the company of a human or other animal, as this breed is considered a very independent one. There's something to be said about this breed that's a bit of a secret. Don't worry, we'll tell you a bit later on the list. What we can tell you for now is that the price of this breed varies from three to seven and a half thousand dollars. Number seven, Azawak. The dogs of this West African breed were originally used as hunting dogs and are now bred to spend their days as guard dogs for livestock. They're named after the Azawak Valley in West Africa. 
very similar to the previous breed on this list, Azawaks have slender bodies with large legs that makes them unique in their almost feline gait. Azawaks can reach speeds of up to 40 miles an hour. Because there aren't a lot of Azawaks in America, they can be found at very high prices. Being hunting dogs, Azawaks quickly recover from injuries and have few hereditary conditions. They only suffer from epilepsy or wobbler disease. You might want to consider keeping in shape for these dogs since they need regular exercise to keep healthy. If you decide to adopt one, they're available to purchase in the United States and Canada for prices from $3,000 to $5,000. Number 6. Rottweilers You might be surprised to find a less rare breed of dog like the Rottweiler on our list, but this is the reason. You see, you'll probably have to spend a lot of money in vet bills due to the breed's health issues. Of course, you'll get your money's worth. Rottweilers are fierce companions to their owners, promising to keep the household safe from intruders. If well-trained and properly socialized, you won't have trouble with the temperament of the breed. However, this breed is so expensive to own because it's susceptible to almost every disease for dogs, particularly hip and joint issues due to their size and weight, which is why their pet insurance claims are the highest among any other breed. Rottweiler owners can expect to pay more than $300 annually on their pet insurance and even more for a claim. Once again, they are really loyal companions that are very obedient to their owners if they're trained properly. Rottweilers are a rare breed that can be a bodyguard and a loyal friend at the same time, and prices go from $1,500 to $7,000. Number 5. Canadian Eskimo Dog Currently facing extinction with less than 300 dogs registered with the Canadian Kennel Dog in 2018, these hunting breed of dogs were brought from their home in Siberia nearly one millennium ago. The low quantity of Canadian Eskimo dogs has a reason. After the Royal Canadian Mounted Police put down over 20,000 dogs between the years 1950 and 1970 for public health and safety reasons. In reality, these officers were enforcing a law that prohibited dogs to be left loose in certain areas. The Canadian Eskimo dogs have a few popular descendant breeds of dogs, such as the Siberian Husky. For their big size, usually reaching 70 centimeters in height and 40 kilograms in weight, and of course for the small number of Canadian Eskimo dogs available, this rare breed can cost from $1,500 to $6,000, although there are testimonies of people that have spent $8,750 to adopt one of these puppies. Now we're halfway down, we take a quick break from the list to tell you a fun fact about the Pharaoh Hound. They actually have nothing in common with pharaohs or Egypt. However, there is a legend that claims Pharaoh Hounds are descendants of other ancient Egyptian dogs called Tessan, but this is not confirmed. Number 4. Chow Chow Moving on with our list, we have the Chow Chow. This is the only rare breed of dog that everybody knows because their unique appearance distinguishes them from every other breed. It's more likely for them to be confused for a lion than for another breed of dog. Our pick for the number 4 spot remains as one of the oldest, rarest breeds in the world which have been around for more than 2,000 years and is originally from China. The best advice you can get if you adopt a Chow Chow is to socialize it early because they are a territorial breed and overly protective of their owners causing them to be suspicious of strangers. Be patient when you're training them, because they can be a very stubborn breed. On the other hand, they require a considerable amount of exercise, such as four or more walks a day. This, along with their incredible lion-esque size, makes it obvious that they're not exactly dogs for having in an apartment. If you wish to adopt one of these giant pups, prices range from around $3,000 to $9,000. Keep in mind that it's probable you'll end up racking up the bills for food, treats, vet bills, grooming and health issues, which can total around $11,000 for their life. Number 3. Tibetan Mastiff Next, a bear-like dog, this giant mastiff can reach up to 150 pounds and 33 inches tall. They can be found in Tibet, obviously, Nepal, India and Mongolia. This fierce giant breed was trained to protect the sheep of the mountains of said regions from wild animals such as wild dogs, wolves, leopards and even bears. When they performed these tasks of guarding, they became too expensive for their owners to maintain and they slowly began to vanish. The Tibetan Mastiffs are pretty healthy but are prone to hip dysplasia for their enormous size as well as eye anomalies. The record for the most money ever spent on a dog went to a Chinese billionaire 
who assisted in a dog show and bought a red Tibetan Mastiff for the exorbitant amount of $1.6 million. Still, a small price to pay compared to his enormous size. Don't worry though, not all Tibetan Mastiffs cost $1.6 million. Compared to that, paying $9,000 and sometimes a few thousand more is practically a gift. Number 2. Le Chen Lo Chen? More like Hai Chen? OK, don't go, we're nearly at the end. The number two pick for dog lore goes to this French breed that has entertained Europe for nearly 500 years. In 1973, this breed was the rarest in the world, counting only 65. Right now, they're still pretty rare, although the number has increased to approximately 300. The little lion dogs, as they're often referred to, are agile as they are obedient and competitive. Their high price is due to their rarity with only a little more than 200 new registrations each year. They are as little as they are adorable, and as soon as you see them, you understand why they've been entertaining people for so long. While it's not the most expensive dog in the world, these pups are very healthy, so you won't go into debt paying for their health issues, but the problem is the upfront cost of the pup. You can prepare your pocket for adopting a Le Chen for prices as high as $10,000. We're almost at number one on our list. Tell us what you think of these dogs. Would you spend top dollar to adopt one of these rare pups? Let us know in the comments. And number one, Samoyed. Taking the prize as the most expensive breed in the world, we've got this rare breed originally from Siberia, although they are as common in northern Russia. They are distinctively recognized for the corners of their mouths which turn upwards, giving them a smiling face at all times. Their elevated price has several reasons, one of them being the extreme capability of obedience that they own, being one of the best breeds for obedience, herding, showmanship and tracking. Samoyeds have a strong sense to run away and roam for miles on end, so always make sure they're on a leash. While rare, they end up adding to the bill. They're prone to expensive health issues such as corneal dystrophy, autoimmune conditions and cardiac disorders that can mount up to around $5,000. Again, this five grand is only on health expenditures. The price for requiring one of these dogs can go from five to $10,000. However, there have been more than one purchasers that have reached the level of $14,000. That concludes our list for the top 10 most expensive dogs in the world. What did you think about it? Remember to comment on the topic you want us to cover. We always come up with our videos at your request. That's all, till next time.